Mass Effect 2! Hi YouTube! Welcome to the highlight series of Mass Effect 2. We're getting ready to start live over here at twitch.tv slash blindwave and you can be part of that live audience every Wednesday at 3 p.m. That is until October when we go silent on Mass Effect 2 and get into some scream stream. But then we'll be back after that. So uh, check out this highlight series. If you watch this video, that means you're ready for the video, the live uh, Twitch that goes live tonight at twitch.tv slash blindwave. So check that out as well. Okay, I can finally do this. Mass Effect 2. Ooh. Whoa. What this? Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Miranda. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. Okay. But they're sending him to fight Geth. 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 We both know they're not the real threat. Who's this lady? The Reapers are still out there. I think she up to needs a to size them. bigger for her outfit. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Cerberus, I know Cerberus. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But so Shepard, this is Cerberus? They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. Bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Okay. Lose then me. see to it that we don't lose him. Oh, dude, that guy's got some uh, robo eyes. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the galactic community struggles to rebuild. I'm not going to read it because I don't want to miss anything. I want to search for answers just to begin. Yes, I just got it in. Fuck yeah. Oh, if I tried to narrate that, that would have been real bad. All right, where are we at? Normandy. We're wasting our time. Four Damn days it, searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Ooh. Something happened to them. Missing My ships. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. We're on the Terminus system. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! What is it? It's not a Reaper, is it? What the fuck is that? Presley! Somebody get that fire out! Get the bucket! Get the water! Oh no! Kaden! Why are you wearing that armor? Shepard! Okay. The stress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Da, 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 they damn well better! <laughs> Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Well, no, the Normandy, Joker, though. The cockpit. You won't abandon the ship. Joker! I'm not leaving either. Kate, go. Now. Was it weird that we didn't see his face? Aye, aye. It was weird that we didn't see his face. Everybody in. Go! Get in go, there, get in there. Go. Everyone looks like they're in fantastic shape. No! Jane! But I don't want to lose the Normandy. Time to abandon ship. This is not how I wanted to start. What the fuck was that ship? Is the guy that sluiced me up at the top of the steps? Ah! Joker, where's saluting man? Oh my god! Shepard sprint for three seconds, damn it! Joker better fucking be okay. Ah, uh, I appreciate this detail, but ah! Uh. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy! I it's over, man. I'm gonna Sam you. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. <sighs> Never seen that on that chair. They're coming around for another attack! The fuck is this? Oh, I'm getting my return. Come on, buddy. Get in there. Get, get in. Get in, Shepard. Shepard! Okay, we're in a sealed suit. Can't control. Okay, this the suit is sealed, right? Um, can we still save the ship? No. Renegade, we're going renegade this time. Renegade all the way. Oh no, man, he's the. The, what's happening? Someone get me! I just imported all of my settings and I'm dying. Commander Shepard has been recovered. Okay. Oh, wait, no. The Lazarus Project will proceed as the Lazarus Project? Miranda, that was that chick with the too tight clothing in the beginning. They put me in a Lazarus pit. 
I'm Shepard Al Ghul, baby. Was that a Serbia ship that attacked me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That cyborg ship? Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give Wilson. him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <laughs> That's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Staff falling back into normal range. I think it was just because he saw Miranda. We almost lost it. Keeps looking at her. Heart rate goes up, looks away, goes down. She turned around, went way up. Why does she look familiar? Is it crazy that she looks familiar? And that guy was definitely Steve Blue. Shepard, do you hear me? Is it Sarah from Chuck? This facility is under attack. Yvonne, Yvonne. Yes. Okay, I like her a million times more now. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. Hurry. Yeah. Okay. This feels like the opening of Nice Little Republic. Look out. Woo! It's a good shot. Starting out great, baby. Nice okay. work, Shepard. Coast is clear. Coast is clear. These designs of these things are so cool. I want to experience everything, but I have such a sense of urgency. Is there a clip in here? There is a clip. Man, I gotta deal with ammo now. Oh my god! Nah! I mean, you guys kind of abducted me, I think, but nah! Got a fucking grenade launcher. Ah! Dude behind you! What are you doing here? Jacob. I thought you were still a work in progress. Who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Okay, Jacob. Don't Things be must like be worse than I thought if nihilist, Miranda's got you running maybe. around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Uh, what a, a few questions. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Two years? Welcome back to your life. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. But Rex and Garrus and Polly, they need to know I'm here. But I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Alright, man. Okay, you're a biotic. Sweet. Sweet. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarium, they all made it out alive. Okay. All right. I feel bad for all the shit I gave Presley. I wanted to use him on board, uh, Vermeer, but it didn't work out. Miranda. I'm intrigued, honestly. Miranda Lawson is the station's Lawson. ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter For what. Two years. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. Check, check. Anyone on this Wilson. frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Science, baby! Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Alright. Alright, Jacob. We're boys now. And when we're boys, we watch each other's back. You throw people in the air, I shoot them. Okay. okay. They shot me! Wilson! Are you okay? Who's shooting you? I see no one. Who shot you? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You could shoot yourself. I didn't see anyone that shot you, but I kind of trust you because I like your voice actor so much. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. Dude, she's the your were all over superior that officer. There's no way she survived. She's either dead or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, <laughs> but that doesn't change the facts. All right, boys. Uh, cover. Systems. What can I use? Overload. Oh, fuck! 
project. Success! Get out of here. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I know Cerberus, but I don't remember quite all of the details, so I'm gonna say that sounds familiar. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Yeah. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. The elusive He'll man. He'll explain everything. He's the man in charge, huh? That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows really who he Wilson? really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. Yeah, he better have answers. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, ah! but you were... Dead? Man, will this game stop? I knew he was lying. I had a feeling he was lying. He got shot and was like... How would I have gotten shot when, I don't know. Though now, I can't question him, because I had suspicions, but not proof. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's Man, capable she looks of that? Like Sarah. We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. My boss wants to speak to you. You yes, mean the, the elusive, elusive man? man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Casting this woman to play this character is unfair. I love her so much already, and I feel like it should be very suspicious. But, just with context clues, the way they designed her, the outfit she's wearing, the fact that it's two sizes too small, really makes me feel like these game developers like, hey, pay attention to this girl. So I'm imagining this is going to be possibly a love interest, but there's a lot of mystery. It's so close to Sarah from Chuck. Anyway, that is my current thoughts. The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. Oh, she's right. Okay, she's we're one of the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. I understand that they had a mission and they were all, I assume, here of their own free will. This isn't a Reaper ship. So they knew the risk. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Oh, man. Bluff, you just talked about how you don't want to waste all that time. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. <laughs> I liked, I like her. Except for the expendable line, but... What you gonna do when they? I do feel fine. Is Shepard's face glowing? His scars, or is that just lighting of the time? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Well, you see. Whoa! Look at this place. It's like a giant crossbow. Denounced as human supremacist, Cerberus calls itself human survivalist. Yeah. The elusive man hides his finances hidden behind shell companies. Few doubt he will kill anyone attempting to expose Interesting. him. Interesting. Okay. The elusive man. Did I ever hear about the elusive man in the first game? I definitely remember the shadow broker, but I don't think I ever heard of, uh, of that, so... Interesting. Well, he's got a cool living room, I'll give him that. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. Reminds me of the guy I thought from, we'd uh, be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Wait. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What do we know? And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. Is that, that President one man, Bartlett? One... The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? That's Mar... That, I, was, I just mentioned this actor today in a video that we recorded. Motherfucker! What the hell did he just say? I was too shocked. We tried to keep you as intact okay. as possible. I really like him a lot more now, we too. We need Shepard. Just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. What? We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. 
just a Saren and a Geth ate its sovereign. Voice actors so far, uh, I don't recognize Jacob, but Yvonne, Sheen, fucking Zeb, <laughs> you know? I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Maybe. Joker helped. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. I like that line. That's pretty good. You kind of... Kind of kind of getting me here. We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Okay. It's a hell of an intro for this character. I, you know, I fully expect to just go right back in with the characters that I know and love, and we're just right into it with new characters. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. <laughs> but the elusive man wouldn't allow it. Oh, he was okay. afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take so it, She pick. has biotics. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay <laughs> focused on the mission. Oh, Shepard. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Corsair? was a Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Uh. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were Black supposed ops. to be free from restrictions and rules. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, camera. bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Whoa. What's this? That's cool. I like that. This is not the Mako, and I am very unhappy. Definitely a pretty big scale compared to Mass Effect 1 already in terms of being on a new planet, I feel. Feels good. Okay. I want my rifle, damn it! Hear that? Sounds like Strange. What the fuck? Okay, I need to. Oh, hey, I do have an assault rifle. Shit. Get off! I can't melee anymore! Oh my god, what's happening to me? Alright, I suck. <laughs> Get under, get undercover. I can definitely tell cover is way more important, important in this game. My playstyle from last game is not translating very well. Is man, I feel like I'm such out of control, dude. But I know that's my fault. I'll get, I'll get uh, definitely better at it. Spare parts. Ooh, credits, man! I just found a thousand bucks in the trash. Mechanics take a bit to get used to. That makes sense. I, I, I don't think I've ever had trouble like that in all of Mass Effect 1. So, but I can already tell, like, you have the ability of being a lot more in control than the first game. I think I was just relying on bad strategy. Wait, what? Okay. I understand what this is, and it's a lot different than just pressing buttons. I'm told to press. <laughs> Damn it! Fuck away from me, dog! Target down! Oh. Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Dolly! Wait. 
Shepard. Ah! I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard, is that uh, you're alive? It's me, Tally. Remember when I gave you that Geth data, Tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Vitor. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Okay. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Oh. Man, the whole Normandy crew is separated now and off doing their own thing for two fucking years. Keep forgetting about reload. Oh man! Ah! Oh my god! Holly, be okay! That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. So Overlo can do that. I can grab this grenade launcher and pop your own. Thank you. Okay. Do this mini game. I feel like this mini game will not ever get boring. And frustrating. No fucking way. No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming have to hide. It's happening. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs will protect. Have to hide. Have to hide. I won't let the monsters get you. I promise. Have to hide. Have to hide. There we go. <laughs> My god. I think it's a collector. A what? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Seekers swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. Someone freeze find? you. Then the monsters take you away. Why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. I really like how in the conversations it seems like everybody is more involved in the discussion. Uh, as opposed to just, like, you know, a quip here or there. So that's pretty cool. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Okay. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. You're welcome to take Vitor's omni -tool data, but please, just let me take him. I mean, I think the omni -tool is the most valuable part. I don't think we we're going to get much more out of him specifically. I do want to say this. I feel like my gut is Vitor goes with Tally, and... No way would I say Vitor has to come with us. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. I feel like it would have been a bit much to ask Tally to join, considering how she feels about Cerberus right now. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. <laughs> you ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? <sighs> yeah, why? Why are they doing that? The idea that they were impressed by Shepard and thus 
want to specifically look at humans more is interesting. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. Really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be. Oh, this is gonna be fun. If you're a natural leader. Head to Omega and find Morden Solus. Be able to come back He's to a it. brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence Solarian suggests scientist. he may know how to counteract the collector's paralyzing seeker swarm. Okay, that would be good. I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. What? Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. What? Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky with a lot of strings. He's walking. How'd you get here? Like, well. It all fell apart without you, Commander. Well-ish. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You joined Cerberus? You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. You walk now? They only told me last night. You walk now. Ooh. What's this? What's this? SR2. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? Ah, oh, fuck. They use a Lazarus we'll pit on that too, in. huh? Yes! I have itchies all over my head. Let me see that Mako too. How about that? Ah, oh, that's good shit. It feels like so long, but I only lost her two hours ago. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. It's good. A little updated, but same. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Um, we, uh, we shouldn't have artificial intelligence. Isn't, this is illegal. We shouldn't have this. But we're Cerberus, so who gives a shit? But still, this is how you get Geth. The new Normandy features greater space and living quarters, okay. research laboratory, observation deck, wow. and cargo bay. Its shuttle can make landings the Normandy cannot attempt. Contact so we just have a shuttle man. now, not a, not a Mako. The enhanced defense intelligence living beyond the Omega-4 mass relay in the Terminus systems, the mysterious collector species is glimpsed so rarely as to be taken for a myth by most in galactic society. They are a terrifying force in the galaxy. Responsible for the murder of hundreds of thousands. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. No. <laughs> okay, Kelly. Anything else? Don't want to be stumbling into any romances that I have to solve with a atomic blast. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! <laughs> Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice. Choice <laughs> ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. <laughs> okay. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. Well, I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions that's gonna will be, be released interesting to, me. to figure out. I like how I can, you know, look around and have a basic idea of where I am because I've been on the ship for so long. But it's also nice that it's all known. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. 
But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Hmm. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I like Jacob. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. This is cool, man. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. Whoa! This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm That's grid. That's fucking amazing. But I didn't even think about it that we were having real-time conversations like that over how far with uh, such good quality. Okay, so let's go up to Captain's Cabin. Whoa, man, I got a fucking aquarium? Where are the fish? Private terminal. Team status? What? So many! On the off chance the rumors are true when you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council, and it's only fair that you'd be allowed to speak for yourself about what's what we've been hearing. From the elusive man, Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may name the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus system. It is fear, uh, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You will find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his feet. I've taken care of that personally. Zaid Masani, huh? The master's thief, Kasami Goto, Goto, uh, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard her, and few can even few can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequal of stealth and infiltration, and her skills prove invaluable to your mission. Travel to Sakura Ward on the Citadel. You will find a special ad terminal that differs from the unusual input. Okay. Huh? Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fee fees for closing the file, the subsequent change in status and reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits. I had so much money. Uh, thank you for banking. Oh, whoa. Holy shit. That's interesting. Kind of like the jet black. Whoa. That blue with this helmet is kind of interesting. I, well, I'm not going to lie. I don't not like that. <laughs> I do wish you could change the color of the uh, recon hood. We got casual appearance as well. <laughs> oh, I like this. Ah, oh, dude, this jacket though. Man, this is fucking cool. Dude, he looks like Jean-Claude Van Damme here. The hoodie is also pretty cool. It's funny that Shepard would just put on a hoodie. But I really like this motorcycle jacket. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, I'm going to have no helmet, and if I'm not going to have any helmet, I think I'm going to go with that then. But I'm definitely keeping on this uh, leather jacket. So back here used to be the, yeah, the hospital. Dr. Chalk was? Commander Sh Hey, it's the doctor. Nice to see a familiar face, doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. The only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. AI core. Access to the AI core is restricted. Of course it is. I have my reservations about the AI. Like I did Just the again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Well, excuse me, princess. Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. Uh, you can say janitor and cook, huh? So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. 
I wash my hands most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. <laughs> you have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> this guy. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients. Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery oh, man, I got shopping on the city. Big old adventure ahead. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Miranda's office, eh? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Mm. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. Genetic modification. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You are cocky. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in <laughs> the camera guys It's like... the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, <laughs> risky, and technically demanding operations oh, Cerberus undertakes. Women's restroom? I shouldn't go in here. Wait, where's the men's restroom? Three shower heads situated so that you are as close as possible to the other showery. I'm gonna go in. I'm just looking. You never know when there's a codex information in here. Dude, look how big that is. The Kodiak Drop Shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land a ship on high gravity worlds. Hmm. Engineer Donnelly. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Garuja. She down flew here. in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted oh, Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Anderson lost Which was bullshit. Clout. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost God damn, I should've let them die! Leadership. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Okay. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. All right, well, we'll get that because the elusive man can pay for it or something. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. So this is the replacement of the acid clouds and extreme temperatures of Venus. I'm not impressed the Kodiak. Yet. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I'd embrace you. I'd catch you. I'd drop you. I'd, I wouldn't say any of those things. Get my nuclear missile ready. I think catch is the easiest one. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. Uh, the Citadel. We can visit the Citadel uh, and meet up with Anderson. He did send us a message. All right, look at this. Whoa, look, guys! <laughs> nice. Let's just go out. How do we? Uh, how do we leave? Button mass relay jump. Um, this is the Milky Way galaxy. It's not the local cluster. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, I get you. I can do this. I'm just a little confused by a new map. My bad, everybody. Alright, now we go to the Citadel. I like the little driving ship. It's so charming to me. And uh, we'll dock. Alright. Back here finally after the... After two years, man. Get a little car? That's an exo-drive speeder from episode two. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. What are these sons of bitches still doing here? Didn't we stop Just this? enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. 
I'm a fan. This is the, the thief lady? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep That's it that queen, way. I'm a I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. That's a cool outfit. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Okay. Just a new recruit. Cool. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're, uh, dead. <laughs> I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you DLC in our system. Care. He's just past the scanners on your right. Okay, who's the captain? You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. There we go. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the Station Security Administration to reactivate your IDs, then to Customs and Immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. <laughs> but I can see you're a busy man. Mm -hmm. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Okay. I will make it legal. Do it. I have to do do it, because that's up to my... That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. <laughs> Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. All right. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Cool. I like him. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days <laughs> since the Citadel last welcomed you. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information They're not even on talking Reaper. about the Reaper? References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. God They've damn suppressed it. information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Accuse her of classism. <laughs> we offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Oh, okay. Want an endorsement? Accuse her of classism. I'm gonna do the endorsement. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? <laughs> yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? Spectre. I'm a former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. What? How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. Yep. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite place to shop on the Citadel. Excellent. <laughs> I will get my clerical VI to add it to our oh, I gotta see if I can do that with my local toy store. Class is classics back. at the Grand Central Mall. Space Hamster! Fish! Normandy 1! Well, I want a fish. So, yes. Yes. A $7,000 hamster? Fuck yeah! I'm gonna get the Normandy model, of course. And I'll get this one too, I guess. Oh man, I feel so fucking good. Like Miranda, ships. Space I'm Hamster. Engineer, Jacob, I Space Hamster. Let's go tell everyone. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. I should kill them all. <laughs> the shit. 
I don't know if I have time to actually go see Anderson. So I suppose Anderson will be part of next stream. The beginning of next stream is going to be finding Anderson and heading out to the Presidium. So we're going to give it a good old save. That was the first stream of Mass Effect 2. And I got to say, it was a hell of a stream. Everything's different, but everything's the same? I don't know. Uh, I appreciate everybody coming out, though. We had almost, at one point, we had over like a thousand people watching, so that's fantastic. And I hope you do return for next Wednesday, where I'll be continuing on the Citadel, talking to Captain Anderson, maybe making some more new recruits, uh, and hopefully finding uh, some old ones. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be back here next week. Make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe. And uh, make sure you tell your Mass Effect friends that a new journey has begun and they can come along and watch. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.